The MMDA insists that the transfer of funds from the DICT is above board. Acting MMDA Chairman Romando Artes said, said this in response to the privileged speech by Congressman Paul Daza. Daza questioned some 3 billion pesos were transferred from the DICT to the MMDA, a transaction that he calls highly suspicious. The amount was supposedly taken from the DICT's 12 billion peso budget for the free Wi-Fi program. This is an example of what we call an interagency transfer. But this one in particular doesn't seem to have clear guidance from Congress, which is mandated to enact the General Appropriations Act, making this transaction or this interagency transfer or MOA agreement highly suspicious, if not illegal. For his part, Artes says that the MMDA only wants to help the DICT in implementing the National Broadband Project. Artes also clarified that only around 1 billion pesos were transferred to the MMDA. He adds that having a role in the project could also help speed up plans for a single ticketing system. Ang um, pagda-download ang interagency transfer of funds ay hindi po pinagbabawal, hindi po to suspicious or illegal. Ang um, pagta-transfer po ay normal na ginagawa among agencies dahil kami po ay nagtutulungan sa pag-iimplementa na ng mga projects sa mga ng bawat isa. And here to talk to us about the transfer of funds between the DICT and the MMDA, we have with us on the line Northern Samar Congressman Paul Daza. Sir, magandang gabi and welcome to The Big Story. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening. Yes, sir. Ed. Sir, uh, well, start off with, with the basics. Uh, um, pwede bang gawin yun na ang a, isang agency, isang departamento maglipat ng isang bilyon mahigit sa ibang departamento just like that? Uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, that, that's not legal. Even if it was legal, there has to be more transparency. Kaya kinol out ko yan dahil uh, it seems to be a bad pattern na yung mga agencies naglilipatan ng pondo, di ba? Uh, under the law, ang budget nila, appropriations yan eh. Yes, sir. In, in this case, DICT. Dapat na mag-implement kung yung, nung, nung, nung project, like in this case, part ng free public Wi-Fi, uh, fiber optics, DICT, walang kinakaalam doon ng MMTA. Bakit nila tinransfer? Diba? Yun, yun, ang, yun ang issue doon. Uh, hindi naman kailangan i-transfer, bakit ita-transfer? Sa MMDA na ang uh, jurisdiction nila is traffic, waste management, traffic management, diba? Metro Manila. Bakit mm. DICT nagbibigay ng pondo sa kanila? Congressman, have you identified where these funds were used, the 1.1 billion pesos? Is it under the same project of the free public Wi-Fi? Uh, that's what I wanted to find out because uh, there's no transparency even in the bidding. Uh, MMDA wanted to bid the project. Dun sa what you call the uh, bid documents, ang description ng funding is it came from a trust account, walang specifics. So uh, that's why I did a privileged speech because that's the w job of uh, Congress, diba? oversight. Uh, so I called that out to, to get more details. Na bakit ganon? Uh, in fact, it's not just MMDA. There's at least two or three other uh, transfer of funds to other agencies from DICT, and this all happened uh, in fairness in, in, uh, last year. No, it, it didn't happen. Uh, this year, from what I know, last year pa yan. Yes, sir. Well, sir, um, I'll go back to my earlier question. Kasi nga, uh, well, uh, Congress does not just have oversight, it also has the power of the purse. Ibig sabihin, Congress gets to decide which agency gets how much. And it's not up to the executive to decide who gets what. Uh, and that, that's why we had the, the Supreme Court ruling on, on the DAP in uh, during the time of uh, President Aquino. Uh, correct. I, I, I pretty much uh, I agree. You know that's why I, I think it's illegal and at a minimum it's it's uh, immoral, unethical to be transferring funds to other departments when the law which Congress passed, which is the budget law, we appropriated the funds. In this case, the ICT. Bakit napunta sa MMDA? Uh, di ba medyo allergic na tayo pag ang mga pondo linilipat lipat kung saan saan. Uh, hindi natatago eh, hindi natitrace. And that's why I spoke on that because 
Ang sobrang importante yung public Wi-Fi project na masyadong delayed na at uh, mali yata ang ginagawa ng uh, executive branch. Sir, what would be the violation um, if, if this is illegal and uh, Artes claims that the fund was uh, legal given the MOA signed by agencies? Uh, that, that's what the MOA is a one way to sugarcoat it, but uh, the, the budget law, what we call General Appropriations Act, uh, from what I know, the funds came from the ICT, which is uh, part of their budget. Um, so whether they do a MOA or not, that in itself is illegal, transferring it. Second, I don't think it's in the charter of MMDA to do the ICT-related projects. Uh, my understanding is MMDA was created for coordination with the LGUs, essentially for traffic management, uh, road network, and waste management. Um, they, that's not in the charter. So that in itself is suspicious, and that's basically what I said. Mm -hmm. sir, sir, well, following up on, on uh, Gretchen's question, uh, what kind of a law or what kind of charges could be filed, if at all? Well, uh, it, well, that's what I want to I want to call them to Congress to 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 the right committee. Uh, give them a chance to explain. Uh, give us details. Give us copies of the documents related to this, uh, and then well, let's talk about if there's any violations. And that's up to uh, the ombudsman, COA, or DOJ to file the necessary charges. But uh, normally, when you use funds. Uh, not uh, intended for another purpose and you use it for another one, it's what we call uh, technical malversation. Mm -hmm. All right, maraming maraming salamat po for your time and insights. Uh, we have on the line Congressman Paul Daza.